Hello Trade Pros, it's Victor from Trade Pro Academy and today we are going to go through another Sierra chart video. In today's video we are going to be talking about another customizable tool on Sierra charts. Sierra charts has a lot of options and can get a little confusing but we're going to show you how to make it a lot easier today with this simple toolbar customization. The toolbar can be found right in the top of your Sierra chart, the main window, and it looks like this, this highlighted pink section right here. This is your toolbar, and it's very, very useful because it is a quick key to a lot of different settings. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to make a toolbar, how to customize a toolbar, how to make multiple toolbars, and how to move these toolbars. So before we get started, if it's your first time here on the channel, please hit that subscribe button if you don't wanna miss any more videos, any new videos, and ring that little bell to notify you when we do go live every morning for our morning market update. All right, guys, let's get this started. So in today's video, we have the toolbar. As I explained up here, the toolbar is just a quick access key that allows anyone that uses Sierra charts to just click one of these buttons and either draw lines, uh, turn charts into one minute, five minute, 10 minute, 30 minute, one hour charts, whatever you want. And the thing is you can customize this toolbar to have whatever buttons you want to have. So if you just hover over it, you can click on the find symbol, open chart book, whatever it is right here, you've got large decrease bar spacing page down. Some people might find that useful. I don't really use it. You have a line tool right here. You have an extended line tool, a crosshairs tool. You've got all these different tools, especially here. If you can, if you want, you can change the actual time frame of your chart. If you select your chart and you click on a daily, weekly, one minute, whatever it is, you can customize all this in this toolbar above. Now, where you can find these toolbars is if you hit the window button right here and you look at control bar. So each of these control bars actually, see I just hid that one. Each control bar that you open is its separate toolbar. So if I open, for example, control bar one, we had that control bar that we just saw. If I go in again and I go control bar two, we've got two of them here now. So both of them have the exact same buttons and you can get rid of them, add them, move them, and even move them to the side here. So you can add actually control bars on each of your detached windows. So this is a 200 volume bar on crude, for example. And if I go to window, and I select toolbar, I can have a toolbar here or control bar at the top of each detached window. And another cool little tool that you could use here on these control bars or toolbars is this right click feature. If you right click the toolbar and select float, you can see you take it out of the actual window and you can put it anywhere you want, put it somewhere that may be of more convenience to you. If not, you can attach it to the right, left, bottom, top. So if I attach to the right, you can see it's on the right hand side here. If I make it float again, bring it back to the top, it's back to the top. Now, if I don't like all of these buttons here and I wanna change the configuration of this, it's very, very simple. Again, you right click that toolbar and you can customize every single toolbar you want. So you can see this is everything that the toolbar has in store on it. So you can see status bar, find symbol, all these things. It tells you exactly what's on this toolbar. Now let's say you don't really wanna get rid of this toolbar. You wanna to just customize your own toolbar from scratch. You can go into the control bar area, unselect number one, grab number two, for example, customize number two. You can remove all of these. So you can add a separator, move down, move up. But if I just start removing all of these right here, keep the separators just cause. But if I start just removing a lot of these, and what I want to do is just go into the general settings. If I want some tools, let's say custom drawings, or sorry, tools, and I just go into, let's say I use uh, horizontal lines a lot, right? Horizontal lines, horizontal line not extended. So if I use that, I'll add it, add that tool. Let's say I also use a the ellipse tool. I'll add the ellipse tool. Uh, what else do I use? I'll use out of these, maybe I'll just minimize this. And let's say I'll use trade, trade lock. So I'll add that. Um, and then let's just add one more thing. Let's go like one more tool. 
so the hand tool. So now that I've added all of these, I can change the sizing, custom, whatever you want, and I press OK. So what I have now here is my own little custom toolbar with not very many buttons, but it is what I use the most. So again, if I make it float and I've got this little toolbar right here, it's got just a few select little quick button. So if I just click this and I start drawing my ellipses, I can customize the ellipse right clicking on it, but I don't have to go into the tools every time, go down to ellipse, whatever, choose that. And I'll go back to the hand tool if I need the hand tool. Again, if I want my trading locked, it's easy as that, click the button, unclick the button. And it's just a very, very convenient way of having all of these studies and settings in just the tiniest little toolbar here. So I really, really like this study and little setting in Sierra Charts is very customizable. What you could do and what they have that's even better than that is look how many control bars they have. They give you an option of eight in total so you can customize them however you want. You can add them individually to each chart if you want to make things a lot easier. But for me, just having one of them is pretty good. I don't really need a customized one by that much or stuff like that. If maybe I want to change this chart from a 10 tick to a four tick easily, I can add one of them up here and so on and so forth. You could add literally any tool, any study, anything that you see here, file, edit, chart, whatever it is, you can add it onto that little toolbar for use and quick use. Now it's a great little tool. I recommend that a lot of people use it and customize it so it makes your trading and your Sierra adaptation a lot easier. So this is Victoria from Trade Pro Academy. I hope you enjoyed that quick little toolbar customization video. And I want you guys to like that video, drop a comment down below. What else do you want to see in terms of Sierra charts? What else do you want to see just in general? from our YouTube page and ring that little bell to notify you when we do go live every single morning for the market update, morning market update. Take care guys.